What if I told you that there was a dirty secret and slightly unethical way to blow up on Instagram fast? See, Instagram is a cutthroat business model. If someone makes a better post of the same topic that you did, then they're gonna get more views than you even if you posted it first. So what are we talking about today? Well, it's the reason that you clicked on this video for the non-ethical way of blowing up on Instagram as fast as possible. And I have a feeling that a lot of bigger creators on Instagram aren't going to be too happy with me about sharing this secret sauce with you right now. But screw it. I'm also going to share with you a bonus monetization secret at the end because I made a commitment to share the no BS methods with you guys a long time ago. So with that, let's dive in. Believe it or not, you don't always have to reinvent the wheel when you create content. There are tons of reels and viral posts out there that are on the same exact topics. And the top performing posts get tons of views regardless of if the subject has already been talked about by someone else. There are three ways that we can do this and I'm going to be showing you each of them in this video in order from least ethical to the best. Which brings us to the first method which is just simply reposting other viral content onto your account. And I want to mention this up front as a disclaimer. I do not recommend that you use this first method. It's sleazy and it can actually get you in trouble with Instagram. But still, I figured I would share it because I have seen some scumbags growing using this method, so I figured I should include it. For example, if you just copied this post and posted it on a page without crediting the original content creator, well, that's called copyright and they can actually file a copyright claim against you if you did that. If the OG creator files the claim, then Instagram will end up removing it from your page and you actually put your entire account at risk for being shadow banned or even removed entirely for this. So, so this strategy of just reposting or copying other people's work is ultimately crossing the line and you shouldn't do it. So we'll rate this a 1 out of 10 because of all the risks involved. And that brings us to method 2. Most of the time, you can reshare someone else's work directly onto your account if you just credit them in the caption and tag them in the post. That's right, you can download their viral video or screenshot their art and get away with it just by tagging and crediting them like the examples behind my voice. I'll rate this a 7 out of 10 because it does give you a good chance of going viral, but you aren't building your own brand and at the end of the day, you're funneling a lot of the viewers back to the original poster. And now, I'm going to show you how to get away with murder. Well, not really. I'm actually going to be showing you how to steal like an artist and draw inspiration from other viral content, but you get the point. But before I explain the method, I just want to show you some examples. You've probably heard of Jay Shetty over the last few years. Heck, your grandma might have even reshared some of his stuff on her Facebook page. He's been blowing up on social media and really positioned himself as a thought leader and deep thinker in the space. But what if I told you that a lot of the stuff that he shared to originally blow up was actually using the dark unethical method. Check this out. At first glance, Jay's profile seems like a new perspective. He brands himself as this monk who has all these deep thoughts and lessons that you would assume are probably original. However, many of the quotes that he shares actually come from other viral accounts like these. He then leverages that viral content to help himself sell books and push people into all his different funnels where he's amassed a net worth of over 30 million dollars. Nicole Arbor actually did a great video on exposing all this a few years ago, but as you can see, he used the dark method to really grow and propel himself on Instagram. Another creator that you might be familiar with is MD Motivator. Before he started using the give money away strategy to become famous, he was making videos like these. While I totally support encouraging people to get help and realize that their self-worth is important, he was actually using other people's words and repositioning them as Your his own in videos trauma, like this. A child with equally intense coping mechanisms. As you can see, this is word for word taken from another viral post on Instagram and even has the original author of the quote there. But MD Motivator didn't mention them at all. And now, he's flying around the world, hanging out with celebrities like Drake, and getting exclusive access to some of the coolest events on the planet. But I want to be clear, I'm not painting these guys as villains at all. Both of these creators put a ton of hard work in to get where they are today, and at the end of the day, they are spreading positive messages, which is way better 
better than some of the garbage that we see online. The point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of people at the top on Instagram have actually used this dark method. And you can see this same strategy across all niches, sports, comedy, even silly meme pages, the list goes on. This is because this strategy can be used in literally every single niche. And if you're having trouble picking a good niche and are looking to level up, you can follow my blueprint on starting a viral and profitable Instagram account on my website. It's the same method that I've used to grow my accounts to millions of followers and earned hundreds of thousands of dollars from Instagram. So now that you found a good niche, or maybe you already had one coming into this, what we're gonna do is find a topic that has been proven to already be interesting to our ideal viewer. You can find inspiration by coming to the explore page and seeing what's already going viral in your niche. Now what you're gonna wanna do is think of how you could remake this content, but transform it to become your own style. Don't copy it word for word. You wanna make some changes and actually improve and enhance this content. In fact, a pro maneuver would be to actually ask yourself, what changes could I make to make this content even more viral? Maybe it's the hook, the lighting, the colors, whatever it is, you wanna change it and improve the content so that it's better than the original and has a 0% chance of getting flagged as copyright. Here's my biggest tip. Don't hold back your personality. Add funky music, add stuff that you find funny, and do something that really makes this unique and outside the box. If you do this right, then you're gonna be attracting a tribe of people who like the same stuff that you do. So there is no better follower magnet than good hooks with a little bit of personality sprinkled in. Again, I covered that more in my blueprint where we're focusing on doing something unique that really catches the viewer's attention in order to get all my boys thousands of views as quickly as possible. A couple more rules that you should follow. Never take someone's personal story and never copy word for word. Always try to implement your own secret sauce into the content because you're gonna have to make this unique for it to work, especially if you're a small creator. Think about it. If you were to just rip from creators who are bigger than you without making making any enhancements, then why on earth would the Instagram algorithm ever reward you? Because you have a smaller audience than the people that you're drawing inspiration from. One of the other accounts that I own used this exact method to grow to over 130,000 followers with our own style. I'll finally be showing you all the juicy details on that later this month, so make sure you're subscribed to see it. But with all that in mind, this third method gets a perfect 10 out of 10 score because it's the best way to grow on Instagram fast. So look, now you have the cheat codes, but if you've made it this far in the video, then it's your lucky day. Because I decided that I'm gonna share a bonus monetization method for those of you who are looking to score brand deals on your Instagram accounts. And this is something that you can literally just take and use as a template and fill in all your own stats and branding. This document is called called a media kit. It's basically a flyer that summarizes all the carrots and nuggets of information that a potential advertiser would need to know. Stuff like your audience demographics, your average likes per post, and testimonials that would show your credibility in the niche. This exact media template has scored me free stays at five-star hotels, free expensive gym equipment, and thousands of dollars in shoutouts and partnerships. Now, you can just copy this directly from the video yourself, but if you want to save time, I put a link below where you can just enter your email and I will automatically send this template to you within 90 seconds. Now, you're going to have something to send to advertisers that positions yourself as an expert in the space. Let me know if you guys liked this video. It's a little different than the normal style we use, but thanks for watching and talk soon.